ready to find your dream home, fall might just be the perfect season to buy and we've got five compelling reasons why. So let's dive right in, Dean. I think number one is motivated sellers. In this market that we've had this past summer, we've seen a lot of cottages and homes perhaps lingering longer than other years mm -hmm. so that these places have been sitting, sitting, sitting. Now, as a seller, I'm thinking, oh boy, it's time. I want, clearly, I want this sold. The clock is ticking. It's ticking, mm -hmm. and I don't want to hang on to this property over the slower winter months where maybe nothing happens at all. Especially if you're a cottage owner, you don't want to have to close it up and winterize it and then sit on it, pay the taxes on it all winter long just to have to go through the process again next spring. And, and not only that, but then there's that unknown to go through that process again right. next spring. Is it going to sell in the springtime? Mm -hmm. So as a seller, I've made that decision. I'm ready to sell. I want it gone. So as a buyer, there's an opportunity there. You may be able to pick something up for a not necessarily deep discount, but you may be able to have uh, a little more negotiating power when you get to the bargaining table. Fully agreed. So number two, what do we have? Less competition. From who? What do you mean? Uh, when we get back into fall, kids are back in school, mm -hmm. sports are starting yeah. up again, uh, extracurriculars. Maybe if you're a snowbird, you're getting ready to, to travel south right. for the winter. Um, so if you are truly in the market to buy a property this fall, uh, there will be less people to have to contend with, less competition and in so the marketplace. What, but what does that mean then? Jenny? Again, it kind of goes hand in hand with a motivated seller, right? There are sellers out there who are looking to sell. You're not going to be up against five other buyers for the same property. Uh, there again, once you get to that bargaining table, there may be more opportunity for you. You may be able to come in with more conditions or um, a, a lower price to start the negotiation or a longer closing date because you're, the, the, the seller isn't saying, well, there are 30 motivated buyers right around the corner. I don't have to take this offer. Okay, so if I could jump in there. Sure. Too. Not that we're seeing it very much these days like we did during the pandemic, but mm -hmm. with less competition from buyers, the likelihood of seeing a multiple offer situation is lessened. I would, I would agree with that. Thank you. Okay, so now let's talk about something that might make your buying buying journey a little more exciting and more interesting, oh. the beautiful fall scenery. Yeah. Because who doesn't love a beautiful drive through the Kawarthas in the fall? The leaves are mm -hmm. turning. Uh, it's crisp. You the air is fresh. The air is fresh. No bugs. No mosquitoes. That's a big plus when it comes to shopping in mm -hmm. the Kawartha Lakes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so who doesn't want to go shopping for a house when the fall colors are out? And you, it's like a Sunday drive. Well, and during that Sunday drive, maybe you bump into a farmer's market or something, Jenny. Exactly. Along the way and, you know. Make make a day of it. It makes it yeah. Never. Beyond the pretty views, let's talk about. Uh, I think I think we've been summarizing this as we go, but the potential for better deals. Right? Okay, everyone loves a deal. Yep, and like we said, less competition because there are fewer buyers in the marketplace. Uh, sellers who may be a little more motivated because their property is lingering. Mm -hmm. So you can come in and get a better deal. Now, I don't know if that's an accurate statement. Well, you know, it, again, it's going to go back to that seller motivation. There's no guarantee that you're going to get a deal. And let's really define what a deal is, right? You know, there may not be that low ball offer situation, but, mm -hmm. but it is a possibility that you're going to pay a lot less than you would during the height of the spring market when the seller's expectations are higher, mm -hmm. right? And more competition and all that. Good point. Right? Yeah. And and if I can just add, it may not be exactly on point here, Jenny, but if there are more listings out there, and we've mm -hmm. seen that this, this year, and there are more listings coming in the fall, 
then maybe as a buyer too, you can use that to get a, a better deal because maybe some of the listings, some of those sellers are very motivated and they've been reducing their prices. And right. if they have, then you could perhaps use that as a comparable, as leverage towards the one that you really want. So the, the property that's been lingering is your leverage for the new property that's been on the market. Potentially, potentially. Aren't you strategic? Well, huh? try to be, hmm. yeah. yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now our fifth reason, easier scheduling with service providers. Okay, what do you mean by service providers, Jenny? Well, anything from moving companies to contractors, anybody who is in the service industry, especially in cottage country, okay. is busy, is booked up and busy through the busy summer months. Mm -hmm. So if you plan to buy in the fall, any renovations you want to do, any moving in, trying to find a mover in August yeah. is yeah. not an easy task. Yeah. However, finding a mover in November... I, I would have to think that it's much easier. Well, okay, and not just moving companies, but like you say, other service providers, um, thinking maybe a roofer, Yeah. okay? Uh, not to say that, uh, you know, you call someone up and, and they're going to be able to help you right away. In fact, if a contractor does say, I'll be there tomorrow, Say no away, thank you. Right? Uh, we do like to see that, you know, the busier contractors are usually the ones that are better. Yeah. Um, but that being said, no, the contractor may very well have more leeway in his or her schedule or, to help you out. Or buying in the fall means that you can schedule your renovation yes. throughout the winter months. Yes. And you're not going to spend next summer knee deep in construction. Good point. So you can enjoy your cottage or your and, home. And line them all up the, over the winter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then enjoy the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be ready to entertain it, it with your brand new kitchen or your renovated bathroom or your new roof whatever renovations or services yeah. that you needed done are done and ready to go for the kickoff of the season in 2025 okay yeah all right now here's one because why not why not give a freebie out there we said five but we'll do six okay bonus <laughs> bonus round ding, ding. there you go all right so um because i have it written down here so why not share it okay. so Let's one go. last reason fall might be the best re the best time for you to be buying real estate in the Corthus. Uh, you can test out the utilities. If you're buying a cottage uh, in the fall months when it's cooler out and you plan to use it during the winter cool months, you want to know how warm it's going to be in that cottage. Oh. So if um, if it's well insulated, you'll know if you're walking into a cottage in late October and it is freezing, you can't take your shoes off because the floors are cold. Mm. It's not going to be comfortable to use in late October. Okay. You're going so to So you're really, what you're saying is even though you've you've had a home inspection and everything else, the comfort level that you're going to have. Well, the shopping. When you're shopping oh, sorry, for a cottage. Sorry. I mean, you haven't even gotten. Oh, oh, okay. You're buying a cottage, oh, but you may not have right, found right, right. it. Or even a home. Gotcha. Um, if, if they're heating, test the furnace. Does the furnace work? Is yes. it throwing enough heat to heat right. the place? Or is, are, is it baseboard heat? And are those baseboards okay. generating enough heat yes, to keep you yes, warm? Yes, yes, Or if it is a furnace, then maybe the furnace is working. Or the wood stove. Okay. Um, you can see how well insulated the property is. How warm it is. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't like walking around cottages with cold floors in the fall no. because it's cold on the feet. Yeah. So you want to yeah. know what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. And this is a good way to do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there you have it. Five compelling, well, six compelling reasons yes. that the fall could be the best time for you to buy a home or cottage in the Kawarthas. If you aren't sure if the Kawarthas are right for you, maybe check out this video on um, our ideas of the pros and cons of living in the Kawartha Lakes. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.